Lesson 3. Our arithmetic and geometric means 2. Part 1. Assuming that a cube has the minimum perimeter for a constant volume, show that a plus b plus c divided by 3 is greater than the cube root of abc, where a, b and c are the side lengths of a rectangular prism. Now I'll just draw a little rectangular prism here so we go have a better idea of what's going on. So we've got it like this. Where that's A, and that's B, and that's C. Now the perimeter will be equal to, that is, four lots of A's, four lots of B's, and four lots of C's, which is four outside of A plus B plus C. The volume of this prism is simply A, B, C, and that's a constant, say K. Now, the volume of the cube, we just draw another one up here like this. That's X, X, X. It's just going to be X cubed, and that's constant. Therefore, X is equal to the cube root of k, which is the cube root of a, b, c. Now the perimeter of the cube is going to be equal to, well there's going to be a total of 12 of these side lengths. That's 12 times the cube root of a, b, c, which is 4 times 3 times the cube root of a, b, c. Now, because we said it's a minimum, we can say then that the, I assume it's a minimum, we can say then that the perimeter of the, of the prism, 4 outside of A plus B plus C, must be greater than that of the cube. Now, dividing both sides by 4, and then divide both sides by 3, and we get the result that a plus b plus c over 3 is greater than the cube root of a, b, c. So the geometric mean is going to be greater than the, sorry, the arithmetic mean is going to be greater than the geometric mean. Right. Now we have to prove algebraically that a plus b plus c on 3 is greater than the cube root of a, b, c. Now this is quite a difficult proof and there's several parts to it. The first part is this. We have to prove this result. That a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus 3abc is equal to a plus b plus c times a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus ab minus bc minus ac. Now that's not too difficult to prove and you can pause the video and have a go at expanding it out and proving that result. I'll, I'll write down the result when you've done that. Right, yes, it's a fairly long process, but you, what you find, you find all these terms cancel out, and you're finally left with a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus, and there's three of these, 3abc, which equals the left-hand side. Therefore, the, the result is true. The second part that we need to prove is that a squared plus b squared plus c squared is greater than a b plus b c plus a c. Right? By doing that, we can show that this is going to be positive. Right? Okay, let's just do that. First of all, we'll start off with the fact that um, a minus b all squared is greater than naught. That is, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is greater than naught. That is, a squared plus b squared is greater than 2ab. 
I'm going to bring that over here. We get a squared plus b squared squared than 2ab, which of course means that uh, b squared plus c squared is going to be greater than 2bc, and that a squared plus c squared is going to be greater than 2ac. Now adding all, all these up, because they're all positives, we're going to get here 2a squared plus 2b squared plus 2c squared has got to be greater than 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ac. And dividing throughout by 2, we get a squared plus b squared, or therefore plus c squared, is greater than ab plus bc plus ac. Right, now the next thing I want to prove is that Prove that a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed is greater than 3abc. Now, to do that, we've already established this fact, which means that if we take this across the other side, this will be greater than naught. So that means that all this here, that must be greater than naught. Now, if that's greater than naught or positive, now that a, this is positive, I should have said up here that a is greater than 0, b is, I said it before, but I should have said that, oh, positive. So this is positive, so we know all this is positive. So therefore, we can say, therefore, a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus 3abc is greater than 0. Therefore, oops, therefore, a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed is greater than 3abc. Right, now finally, to prove this result, what we'll do, we'll use a substitution technique here. I'm going to let, I'm going to let a cubed equal p, b cubed equal r, C cubed, I'll make a Q, sorry, equals R, so it follows. So that means that A equals the cube root of P, B is equal to the cube root of Q, and C equals the cube root of R. Right, so that means, putting the substitute these back in, we can have that P plus Q plus r must be greater than 3 times the cube root of p times the cube root of q times the cube root of r. That is, p plus q plus r is greater than 3 inside of the cube root of p, q, r. And dividing both sides by 3, we have that p plus q plus r is greater than over 3, is greater than the cube root of pqr. But these are just uh, variables, so I'm going to say therefore the general result that a plus b plus c on 3 has to be greater than the cube root of abc. It is proven that the geometric so the arithmetic mean is greater than the geometric mean for three variables.